Good afternoon soldiers. Today we will be going over maps, map grid references, and map tools. So I have a black square with a small yellow square. The black square represents a 1000 by 1000 meter square. And the yellow square is 100 by 100 meter square. So the horizontal numbers are referenced first, then the vertical numbers. And we reference a grid square from the bottom left, the southwest corner. So this black square would be referenced as 0602. Let's zoom in. Now we see our six digit, the three numbers on each row. This yellow square would be referenced as 060029. And let's go ahead and bring up our map tool. It's an ACE self-interaction. And we always use the small map tool. It always appears in the bottom left corner of the map, facing due north. And let's go ahead and see how we can use this to get a precise 8-digit grid reference, which would narrow us down from 100 meters to accuracy of 10 meters. So let's say we have a position here on the road, and we want to know where that is in terms of 8-digit grids. We go ahead, position the 0, 0 on the dot. And in this case, we don't have numbers, but we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll say 5. So we'll 0605 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So same thing, 0605-0295. And you can eyeball that it's precisely or approximately there in the middle. Let's go ahead and try another one in the uh, next grid square over. So we'll line up our zero, zero, right there. One, two, three. So what that's telling us is it's uh, 30 meters away from this reference line. So zero, two, nine, three. But I'm going in the reverse order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 0617-0293 and you can eyeball and see that it does approximately reference there. The map tool has two other functions. It has the compass with the mills on the outer circle and your azimuth or bearing in the inner circle and then your cardinal directions and then it also has its ruler application so here you have 0 through 10 representing 100 meters so 100, 200, 300 up to 1000 meters and then for longer measurements 0 through 3 each one 1000 meters so 1000, 2000 3000. With the ALT default hotkey you can rotate. So let's go ahead and see how this can be applied to measure direction and distance between two points. So simply line the map tool over the point, so point A. Go ahead and rotate so the red line lines up to your next point. And zooming in, we can see direction 079. Go ahead and measure distance using the smaller and we see it's approximately 460. So 
from A to C. And we'll do another sample from, or correction, I have two C's there. There we go. Alright, now from A to C, it's almost the same. So, zero, seven, seven. Of course, this lines up ready. One, six, sixteen hundred and twenty meters, thirty. There you go. And finally, using the ACE self interaction, you can realign the map tool compass to north or whatever direction you're facing. You don't have to pull your compass up, but let's say you want to go 140. There you are. It's aligned perfectly to 140.